closing arguments today in the trial of a well-known ultra-Orthodox member of the Jewish community in Brooklyn who's accused of sexually assaulting a teenage girl he was supposedly counseling. The jury will get this case tomorrow. I would assume reporter N.J. Burkett following the trial for us. He's at the courthouse in downtown Brooklyn. N.J.? And, Bill, they will have to decide, is Nakamya Veverman a serial child abuser or is he an innocent man wrongly accused? It all comes down to the credibility of the young accuser and the 54-year-old man charged with abusing her. Nakamya Veverman left the courthouse with his wife and one of his ten children on what could be his last night of freedom. His attorneys insist that Veverman is being framed by a young girl who despises ultra-Orthodox Judaism. She came to hate her community, and she hated her religion, defense attorney Stacy Richmond told the jury. This is her opportunity to say, I hate this. Veverman is a prominent member of Brooklyn's ultra-Orthodox Sutmar community, hired by the girl's family to counsel their rebellious daughter. Instead, prosecutors say he sexually abused her for three years, beginning when she was 12. But if he's touching her, why is she making appointments to go back, asked the defense attorney. She's calling him constantly. This did not occur, she said, not even once. But prosecutors say the reason is obvious. Who's going to believe a 12-year-old girl who was considered a heretic in the community, asked prosecutor Linda Weinman. He was a god, and she was dirt. She couldn't tell anyone. He took this young girl with a fiery spirit, and he broke her, she said. It was repulsive, and it was criminal. The accuser's family insists she's telling the truth. I truly, truly, truly believe her with my whole heart. I know it happened to her. Lead defense attorney George Farkas. You look at the faces of the jurors. What do you see? I see people who are interested in this case, and hopefully they'll do the job that they're sworn to do.